Hey guys, welcome back to um, our YouTube channel. Um, you'll see towards the end of the video, I talk about this, but I'm just gonna touch on this again. This video, just nothing went right for me. Um, everything was going wrong and it probably looks like crap. Um, so I hope you guys do enjoy this, like good ready, chit chat vibe grab some coffee, grab whatever, and um, listen to me ramble, and listen to me, like, fuck up majorly, um, thank you guys, um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say besides, um, this is gonna be a painful video, <laughs> if you wanna, if you really wanna see what happened, or, like, nothing really happened on camera, but everything happened off camera, um, then if you really wanna see this, then just keep on watching. Okay, I'm kind of nervous because I've never done one of these before, but it looks simple and I love watching them so that makes me feel better. Okay, so I've got all my products right next to me. I picked some products that um, I haven't used in a while, so let's get to it. I'm just going to start by priming my face. So how have you guys been? I don't know how have you been, but... Anyway, uh, what should I talk about? Oh my goodness. Look at these like spots. Great, eh? Hey? Uh, okay, so I'm filming this on Sunday, the 2nd of July. And because me and Tulsi have like been really productive and we've got like a whole set, um, like full, like. Uh, can you speak, Sancho? No, I can't. Oh my god, does anyone else hate these things? Anyway, um, we've got like this whole like schedule of what like we've planned, what videos we want to do, and stuff like that. So it makes like pre filming a lot easier. Well, filming it's not really pre filming because this is gonna go up on Thursday. Um, so I don't like I'm doing this like weeks in advance. I kind of wanted to though, but. Then like I don't talk to you guys properly about stuff. Um but yeah, so we are going to surprise my cousin tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. And then the bird for her birthday. So we're just gonna go down there for the day. Well we're gonna stay there the night. So we tomorrow's Monday, right? So we'll be there from Monday to Tuesday. So I couldn't really film then and we have to the Chelsea's video that's kind of going up tomorrow. Um well Chelsea video that went up on Wednesday. Oh, what am I saying? Um oh, Chelsea's video that went up not on Wednesday, uh Monday, that's the word. Which you guys would have already seen is an eyelash. Oh wow that's too really loud okay i'm just mixing my uh, this mac foundation that we used in um my dad thingy with i bought the white and i go one so if i'm liking it but that was way too little foundation um so her eyelash how she applies fake eyelashes things she was very nervous about doing it but i think she did well if you guys did like it Okay, well, I'm rolling with this right now. It looks a bit really neutral and this looks very um, pinky almost. Uh, this is in W, I believe. Yeah, in W. So. But anyway, um, so that's why I'm filming it on Sunday. Um, so we've got quite a busy few weeks well not a few weeks well next month in august i think we might be a bit more quiet um i still have to discuss this with charles but i don't know if we're gonna go back to filming um only uploading once a week just because um Tulsi goes to vega and in second year and third year they do something that's called a brand challenge 
so all these different um, companies come to you and they... <sighs> okay, I'm not actually sure because, you know, I don't really do this. But okay, as far as I know, you get put into like a group and you get a brief from all these companies and you have to like, you basically work for them and come up with like an advertising campaign for them or whatever. Um, so that's pretty stressful and I know like a whole lot of guys First time I'm too light for foundation anyway, I will have to just bronze up extra um Yeah, so They do like um Do whatever the company wants for them like rebrand them or whatever and then it's like quite stressful and then like obviously if you do well or the company like will see you for like when you graduate and stuff oh this just looks so pale guys anyway please excuse this um and then obviously like it's good for your future and stuff like that and it also just gives you like experience and stuff so she's quite nervous for that because it's like a big thing in vega like like it's it's like a big deal so um that's gonna take a lot of her time out she's like don't even speak to me about filming during brand challenge so i'm gonna try pre-film a lot this month but then this month it's so hard because um she's been on holiday and i've been back at varsity and then i go on holiday slash prac um in like two weeks so we just miss each other and then she has been working her ass off because we've said it before but I'm just reiterating in October in October we are going to uh, rock in the daisies so that's fun um, very stressful because like I don't earn like I earn a salary like not a salary but I mean I don't earn a lot every month for money um she earns like two grand i earn like a grand a month so we kind of like spending it like i kind of spend some of the money that i was saving for it um so now we're a bit stressed for money because we have to pay for flats to cape town which are about like they're, they're quite expensive um and obviously because we're flying down we can't take our intent so then we have to pay for, um, accommodation at Daisy's and then we're trying to work out if we must rent a car, what we must do there, if we're going to go down a few days before, you have to, um, have money for alcohol, money for alcohol at the actual festival, um, yeah, so food, it's like, you know, I'm never really been a stressful person, like stressed about stuff. No, that's a lie. I've got like really bad anxiety about everything. But um, this is like actually making me so anxious and it's so far away. But I feel like if we didn't start prepping now, bad things would just happen. So yeah, that's going to be fun hopefully. I've never been to like rocking the daisies. For like um like a major festival like that i think we went to fits one year fun in the sun um but like i don't, haven't gone to like any other like major festivals but i'm going with one of my best friends raven so best friends from well she's like been my best friend since like grade seven and she's been there quite often so she knows like everything and her like her family some of her family lives in Cape Town which is nice because like I know no one in Cape Town besides my one friend oh, I know like no one I don't have any like connections down there you know what I mean so like I'm pretty like lost I don't really I mean I've been to Cape Town I think I went to Cape Town when I was like little um like, oh, I think I was in like, maybe like 13, maybe like less. My dad used to run the two oceans and we used to go with him. 
So like I've been a few times, but like I wouldn't know my way around Cape Town or what the good places are to stay if we go early or whatever. So it's nice that she's, you know, with us. Um, and then my other friend Jen's hopefully coming. It's just gonna be fun. Uh, oh gosh, I was watching. This one guys, he did like a prepping for like Daisy's video, and I'm just waiting for him to come out more because the only you came out with one, and I'm like, where's the rest of them? Um, but yeah, I'm just using this Catrice orange bronzy thingy. It's quite like got quite a lot of glitter in it, but I just thought for something different because I cares. So I had a whole conversation with no one. My camera stopped recording. So this is what I've done. Like I've bronzed, I've done, I've like done most of my like face makeup. So stupid me didn't realize. But hey, we'll roll with it. Um, the foundation on my nose has been a bit of a. Uh, also had a sneezing attack. So. Yeah, it's just going great for me. Um, okay, so I was like talking about how I need to get my hair done. So I'll just go from there. So um, I was just saying how I need to get my hair done and stuff. But obviously with us going to Daisy's, um, that's not going to happen. Because um, we need to save money. Anyway, and then I was just talking about LA and stuff. Um... Because my blue hair, I, I miss my blue hair so much. Even though it like started to go a bit like uh, green, it was like it's been my favorite hair. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe I'm just I'm um, blue double blue double. I don't know. Like maybe it's just the color that I always like. Um, but anyway. So what I was saying, I don't even know if I should even like restart this. But I think it's quite interesting. So um, let me just take it from the beginning. So for everyone who doesn't know, uh, last year, November, yeah, in October, end of October, November, um, Tulsi, well, in October, Tulsi won. It's October, but anyway, we went in October. Um, Tulsi won a trip to LA, so she decided to take me with. I mean, I don't know why she took me with. Like, she should have taken my mom or someone. Um, but she took me with, and we had, like, such an amazing time. Um, I feel like everyone thinks that LA is such a, like, everyone says America. No offense to Americans. Um, but, like, people always say, like, here yeah, in South Africa, like, and like America's so overrated, like, you know, like it's not anything like you would expect it to be. Um, it was everything I expected it to be and more. Like, me and Chelsea call it home now. Like, we pretend like we, we don't pretend, we like say that we're from there because we genuinely feel like that's like, I just felt like it suited us so much. Um, anyway. So, because Chelsea won a trip, it was like all expenses paid. So they paid for everything, um, except obviously if we wanted to buy like extra stuff, we had to take spending money. But they also gave us like a lot of money. They gave us a $500 Visa gift card to spend on like food and um, stuff like that. Um, and... Like we got trips organized, so they organized us to go to Universal for the day. We went to the Grammy Museum, uh, Kanye's concert. Oh, wrap. Right. That was actually the prize. The prize was to see um, Kanye West in concert. So
So the prize was to see Kanye West um, in concerts. So obviously we saw him. And oh my gosh. I've seen, we've seen quite a few concerts. Um, but his was definitely one of the best, if not the best, I've ever been to. He's just such a... He's just such like a show, like not a show, he's like a true artist. Um, yeah, anyway, let, let me, I'm kind of starting to sound pretentious. Um, but yeah, so we went there and then, yeah, so everything was organized for us. Um, so I, I was just talking about the first night. So on the first night, oh, by the way, guys, I am using for first time in a, let me just set this. Just saying that uh, concealer. For the first time in a while, I'm going to be using my Morphe 35W. It looks like such a mess. I've dropped pans and stuff like that. I haven't used this in like the longest time. But I thought today, why not? Um, so anyway, yeah, like I was saying, uh, we used to take lifts everywhere where we weren't like organized transport. So the first day we got there, me and Chelsea were like, oh, Let's go to the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now we were staying in West Hollywood, so it like wasn't far from there. Um, so we just got a lift, and our lift driver was so sweet. It was like a lady, and um, because it was near Halloween, she had like free chocolates and everything. I mean, how to lure Sancha in? Free chocolates. Um, but yeah. Um, and then we relied on like Wi-Fi. We didn't take like a sim card and buy a sim card which if I look back I kind of regret but it kind of worked out because um we just wouldn't have had the time like it's not really worth it for we went only went for a few days so it's not really worth it buying a sim card for five, four days I think it was four or five days um anyway so then we went to the Hollywood walk of fame and we went to the shopping center there i'm not sure what it's called uh and we like walked around there looked at forever 21 looked at sephora of course um i was like oh my goodness what am i gonna do? like i was dying a bit inside because like it's sephora and it was like i was so overwhelmed when i went in there because uh we don't have nearly as much like we don't even like our closest makeup thing for me is like Discam or like that sells or like um drugstore but like that has the most variety to me um like obviously um some Edgar stores have really good variety in there as well my face is just looking hello dry and like patchy af i mean um moisturized this morning and i freaking put on an exfoliator maybe it's just the foundation i'm using um what was i saying oh, okay so then we went to i think it was johnny rockets um there and it's so cute it's like a little diner vibe thing and um we're just sitting there we ordered like nothing to do because we weren't that hungry and um chelsea like realized that um they didn't have wi-fi or we couldn't connect to their wi-fi or something like that um so we were like how the how the f do we get home and um that was quite stressful because we were like how are we gonna get home um well not home or to the hotel um it's like so stressful i mean well like we didn't know anyone there so like we could be like i'm sorry could we please borrow your phone and like order a lift or whatever um i probably it probably would have because it was so nice there but like it was just so like stressful and i'm normally the one who like breaks down and will cry and um get stressed about a lot of things and i wasn't this time i was quite fun and you know like chilled about the situation because i knew somehow you know we clever I mean, Chelsea are clever, you know? Well, I think we are, but you know what I mean? Like, we'll make a plan and find a way home or walk home or whatever. Um, Brain in mind, this was our first day, so we didn't even know. We 
didn't even know really where we were or how to get home or whatever. Um, so Chelsea started bawling her eyes out in the middle of Johnny Rockets. Um, she also got iced tea there and um, the iced tea has, is just like cold tea which she was quite like, didn't like or whatever. Um, so she was not just she wasn't just ha she wasn't having the greatest of um, times the first night, so she started crying. And was like, "What the hell?" Okay, me and Chelsea have never been out of um, we never been out of South Africa, like ever in our whole lives. And to go from that straight into America, um, we were like, "What the hell are we doing?" Um, But yeah, so Chelsea was crying and everything. We eventually, Chelsea clicked and was like, there's a McDonald's just down the road. Like, it was like not even far. Um, they always have Wi Fi. So, of course, we just stood outside the McDonald's Wi Fi. Stood outside the McDonald's Wi Fi. Uh. We just stood outside the McDonald's, connecting to their Wi Fi. Like, um, it was quite like stressful. I had a churro, which was delicious. I must say American food agrees with me. <laughs> well, obviously. Um, but yeah, we just, and then eventually we got home and everything was fine. Um, I don't even know where I'm going with the story. I just wanted to tell you how Chelsea broke down because I love telling you about that story. She doesn't like me telling you about that story, but um, it needs to be told. Uh, yeah, but um, America was so amazing. Um, uh, we were supposed to go for five days. Um, that was our trip. But then, um, Emirates. <sighs> I don't know, the South Pilot? Okay, so we were going from Durban. We flew from Durban to Dubai. Um, so the plane that was coming from Dubai to Durban had to go this back way route or something and ended up ended up in Joburg. Um, so our flight got cancelled. It got delayed. It was like delayed, delayed. And then eventually um, they started handing out food coupons and we were like, oh, cool free food. Then everyone was like, yeah, if they're giving out free food, it's not going to be here for like, ever. It's going to be take a while and stuff. So you were like, oh, we might miss our flat, connecting flats or whatever. But, you know, it will be fine. We'll get on the next flat available, you know. Um, it turns out they cancelled our flat. So we were only in LA for four days. So we lost a day. Um... I think our first day there, we were meant to go. We we're meant to go on like one of a red bus or whatever, like a toy bus thing, and it would take us around LA. So we missed that, but we ended up rescheduling. Oh god, guys, I'm a mess. We ended up re just rescheduling that for the last day because we had nothing planned that day. So it kind of worked out, but not really, you know. Um. Emirates still fucked us over. Um, so we ended up losing a day, like I said. Uh, so we were only there for four days, which is so short. I would have liked to have stayed there for, like I said, my life. It's like amazing. Um, yeah, we just had like, we just did like the touristy thing. Went to In and Out. <laughs> that was like, that was like the main one thing we said. Like, we have to go to In and Out. Um, i just seen like pictures of how good it was and it looked amazing. Um, we went to like Rolfs, which is like a, <laughs> went to Rolfs, which is like a supermarket. And um, that was interesting. I had like nice food. We got some food to take home. Like half of my suitcase was food. Um, what else? Oh, we were there for Halloween and we, lit we were staying just, um, down the 
We were staying down the road from um, this main road. I can't remember what it's called. So maybe it's Santa Monica Boulevard. I might be wrong. I might be right. But anyway, it was this main road, and um, they have a huge party there every Halloween. And we went to Universal on Halloween, which was quite cool because there were a lot of people like dressed up and stuff. We also were gonna try go to the Halloween Horror Nights, but those are booked. They were booked far in advanced, um, so of course we couldn't. Um, but yeah, so. That was quite cool. Uh, we were gonna go down there even just to have a look, but like I said, we're at Universal and we were so tired that we ended up staying. In so we just ended up staying inside. Um, yeah, we just ended up staying out inside that night. Uh, which you know, sometimes I'm like, we should have actually just gone down and like seen what it's about and um. We saw, I woke up early the next morning, like two or something, obviously, because like jet lag and stuff. And um, I saw everyone walking with their costumes and there were some such cool costumes. I think I saw a bubble bath or something. That was so cool. And also we were like in between two main roads. I we're just down from Sunset Boulevard. So it was cool to see all the people going like to the bars there or whatever, catching Ubers from there because obviously they couldn't because the um the road was closed and stuff like that. So that was cool. I've just told you a whole trip. I'm in America and you people probably don't care and does anyone know of how to get rid of hay fever? Because you know this is I'm just not it's just getting really bad. Um, I'm just brushing my eyebrows through with the Essence Mini Brows and Brownie Brow. Okay, um, I'm just going to highlight my face and then obviously I'll just put on some lipstick. Anyway, I'm just highlighting my face with the Catrice Light Infusion Highlighter. I use this all the time. Now I don't ever use it because like, I feel like I have other products that I use like more on a daily basis. Like uh, the Do Factory palette I've been using every day, which is really good. I just, I'm not liking how my makeup looks today. Do you know, some days we have that makeup, the day where we, our makeup just doesn't look as great as we wish it would. I'm using Jeffree Star's Abuse Liquid Lipstick. And this is kind of dried out, so I'm just gonna shake it. I think quickly while well, I'm shaking this with this hand, I'm gonna try to spritz this my face with some rose water, which is like practically finishing. I just want to try to settle um, the powders on my face because I feel like. Um, I look too powdery and I'll just let that sink in for a bit and then I'll spritz it again with and then I'll just blend it with my beauty blender. Kind of dry. Do you know how to like make a liquid lipstick undry? I bought it. Second hand. So I bought it second hand from Beauty Swap and Sell and it's a bit dry so... Such a pretty color. I hate when this happens. Let's get some Try and conceal this blue away. on camera and always going horribly wrong I don't know if you can see what's happening here on my nose I'm not happy with this guys oh, bad day for Sancha 
so I'm just going to go everywhere and just um, black tap in the products um, and I'm just gonna take a brush on my nose just to see if I can not sort the shit out So now you see me as a mess. Anyway, I'm just gonna throw on some mascara. So for that I'm using the Tarte Last Camera Lashes Mascara. Could have gotten on today just did i broke a lamp um the camera stopped recording my lipstick's not working right i've got freaking mascara everywhere it's just such a mess so if you're watching this i'm so sorry i literally want to get sick this is not the quality that me and chelsea want to put out there this is not this is not how I want to be represented on YouTube. Um, I don't even know what to do. Okay guys, well, um, if this is uploaded, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, sorry that it's um, such a horrible fail of a video. Um, but sometimes uh, nothing goes right. And um, this is one of those videos, and um, yeah, I kind of want to cry anyway. Um, if you do want to watch more videos, which after this, I doubt it, um, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also give this video a thumbs up, don't know why you would, but anyway, um, you can also click that bell notification, that bell button. So you get notified every time we post. Um, but yeah, bye guys. See you next week.